do 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 silly kitty what okay i think i'm live yes i am live but i'm playing to nobody which is just fine i'm just kind of getting this going here my grandson's sleeping, so Cthulhu Kitty and I figured we would, first of all, move this out of the way. Is that okay? Thank you. Shane, how are you? Dutch, neutral, sounds good. Do we have visual? That's good. That's the most important thing. Well, anyways, um, just making sure we don't drop any frames because, yes, our stupid internet has been fighting us once again. But that's okay. I, I don't think we'll be playing to a lot of people. Do you? Grandson's taking a nap, so uh, I, I got a whole bunch of boxes. I, I got a couple boxes in. So I figure I... I never stop the segment. It's just when you put 9,000 segments out, you kind of... You pick and choose when you do certain uh, segments. So when, when you get a whole bunch of stuff like I got then we can kind of show it off right right shane dutch new troll dan palmer ice guardian and daniel how are you guys i hope everybody's doing well video and audio is good he says so we must be off to a good start we're not dropping any frames and we're already three minutes in so that's a good that's a good thing so we're going to take a look at some of the the new stuff that i got that i had uh come in and some things that we're going to go over um, we are going to get the shade spire. I know that was a question, uh, Leland had asked, uh, that some people were asking him. Yes. With the grandson coming down and going down to those theme parks, which sucked the life out of you kind of. And then of course we lost, um, little Lily. So, um, that had made it a little difficult for us, but you know, again, doesn't matter the obstacles that are thrown at us. We overcome and we adapt. So we've got a pretty big December uh, headed up. And some of these things you're really going to see uh, really fit in and all. Puma, how are you, my friend? Um, one thing that we definitely have to break down is a game that we got. Um, uh, this is a prototype. It's called Warp Gate. It's, it looks like it's pretty much a 4X game. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at all the games that, that I got came in. Some of them we may even open and look look at and see what's up and see what's going on. So it'll help you guys at least have an idea of what you want to do. Chad, how are you, my friend? Now this here, I'm just looking at it, that's a prototype. I, I, I've got to tell you, for a prototype, I mean, uh, it's definitely a, four, a 4X four type of game. Uh the tiles are, are really really nice i always love when people do planets on things and they they do them really nicely and uh it, it always works for me cards have tremendous art on them i mean look at that thing i mean that really so automatically you got me right there so now i'm curious on how this all plays out so what I will be doing is going over this pretty extensively. I'm just trying to get a good idea of what's going on. Oh, okay, here we go. So here's what you're going to be seeing. So it's kind of set up. It has that eclipse feel to it a little bit maybe? And I'll, don't, get me, don't get me wrong. I haven't even looked at the rules really. Uh, 1x, 2x, 3x, 4x. This is interesting. There are four roads to victory in Warp Gate. Completing missions, researching technologies, claiming trade routes, and earning glory in battles. Anytime you add battles in, that's a home run for me. Pursuing each of these will earn you victory points. The game lasts until either technology deck or the planet deck runs out. A player with the most victory points by the end of the game wins. Okay. You got me. All right, so we're going to have to check. We're definitely going to have to check this out. What do you think? You can care less. 
You just want to stay. All you care is that baby ain't running around here driving you nuts. Right? Okay. So warp gate. This one really, really got got my interest. So we're gonna be breaking that down this week. So we'll take a real good hard look at that. So I, I definitely would say that it will 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 be one of the things that that's coming out this week that you can expect. So let's. Oof. Look at some heavy stuff here, so just give me a second here. Oh, this is the standard edition? Cool. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, this I know no matter what happens is a home run. Well, did we run out of something? Okay, no, I'm just making sure. I'm checking those. I'm checking that chat. I'm checking it twice. I'm trying to find out who's naughty. And who needs to be banned? <laughs> no. We don't have those problems here. If we do, normally. Okay, um, first of all, this is a game that I, I, I've suggested um, that, that's come out on from Miniature Market, and I have just been head over heels about this. The reason being, you could play it in a magic sense where where it's head to head, and you're going against each other, and you're trying to battle each other down, or you play it together and you take on uh, some creatures and and uh try to pick up different types of equipment cards that help you and stuff it, and it's just a game i really really enjoy what are we doing in this one ship of lost souls is an expansion for adventure card game this box contains the adventure see ships of lost souls in three acts as well as a short adventure uh, Rethel's treasure. Additionally, it introduces a new hero, uh, a warrior who uses her her physical strength, battle prowess, to smite her foes. Now she looks pretty cool, so I'm going to take this out. I'm going to open this up and, and 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 give you guys a good look at this. What do you think? I think so. This is interactive TV or YouTube, right? I, I mean, if you're going to stay here, can you can you at least help? Can you open up some of these packages for me? I guess not. Leland, I gotta talk to you. I want a new cover and a new title for uh, 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 Huddy and I painting. Uh, I'll, we'll figure it out later. Running Wolf, my friend, how are you? David Vaughn. Poor Leland, he comes on. You think he, he, you know, you think he feels safe? Oh, I can just hang out for a little bit. No, more work. Oh, Rob, more work, really? Come on, dude. All right, let's see what we have here. Because I, I really want, you know, especially this time of year. And by the way, we have so much going on. I, and I, I don't want to uh, just cut self-promos the entire time here. But this is a very big month. We're giving away, I would assume, close to 40 games in our, in our dice game. Yeah, we are. You're going to want to be a part of it. If you're not a subscriber, too bad for you, my brother, because you are not going to be playing that's for sure uh and we do check things leland has checked uh by the way the people that won last month is finally going out on monday um like i said there was thanksgiving lily grandson and now finally the first day i'm actually taking tomorrow off to tape so we can get ahead and um get ahead of a lot of stuff uh we're gonna have a we're gonna go back to at least a, a video a day and uh, a ton of live events we're, we're we're gonna be painting live a, a lot of live painting a lot of live stuff uh, it's the heart and the soul of this channel so we're gonna go back to it all right so new rules environment now that plays a key in this now oh david how are you jim how are you I actually won Halo Ground Wall. Yes, you did, David, and that'll be out tomorrow. Uh, we I got everything boxed while he was sleeping uh, yesterday, right? And now we just got to get we got to go down to the post office. That's why she's called Cthulhu, Dan. That's why she's called Cthulhu Kitty. Her real name's Abby, but uh, swarms is a new rule that's in here, so you can get swarmed. So I'm kind of looking, just looking through this. I'll show you guys if I see anything really interesting. The story is so good because if you have successes and it and it breaks everything down for you. So if you have 
a critical success, a success, a failure, or a critical failure. So there's different, you can put, it has a lot of replayability. Rob, will the game I won be ready for pickup at Miniature Market on Monday? No, I have to call them, Ice Guardian. I, um, I want to find out how close you were, and I will get a hold of Joe and make sure that that happens. Uh, I haven't talked to any of them since I've been gone for the whole week. Uh, into the belly of beast. Sharks. I will definitely uh, make them aware of everything and I will contact you. I'm just happy that some of you probably should have gotten emails that a ton of games are going out because I got a ton of shipping details. It really has been really good. Everything has moved pretty smoothly and we are painting a ton of um it even has a shorter adventure see i'm getting off topic i'm sorry this is where i just roll all over the place there's even another just really one shot adventure and this just really just I, I love this game let's take a look at the new hero here's the new hero and of course you know they make her look kind of realistic you know she isn't like all all in scantily clad things. She's actually in true armor and ready to go. So I, I really think that's a, a neat thing. You're going to get, of course, her counter. And we get a bunch of more of cards. That's what I'm talking about. Don't you worry, Ice Guardian. I've never let anybody down. Don't plan on doing it anytime soon. That's for sure. We get things done here. Okay. So I'm, I'm excited about this one. Uh, uh, and there, where's the other one? It's up there. So, all right, let's just put this over here for now. We're going to put it with our warp gate. And we'll just start making piles. Now, this game I saw at... Uh, this is heavy, actually. I saw this at... I'm not a massive Steve Jackson fan. A matter of fact, to be honest with you, I cannot stand Munchkin. It's nothing bad. Misfit, I just got your email today. Um, thank you so much. I was about to, I was going to return it tomorrow when I had a chance to return it, but I did see it pop up on my phone. See, I pay attention to people. Um, and thank you so much. You're very kind. Um, I am not a Steve Jackson guy. I do like Ogre. I love that big box set. And, of course, you know, when, when games started coming out, of course, I jumped all over. Um, I jumped all over the smaller Ogre. And then I got all the miniatures for Ogre. And then when they came out with that designer box and I heard about it, I was waiting for it to go retail, and it went retail. Now, GURPS was no nothing I ever played around with but i was at um gen con this year and they were running this and the guy goes oh come on try it try it try it and i tried it and i got lost and i i i, I seriously mean i got lost i had no idea what the heck was going on but i was rolling a lot of dice and it was moving around and, and i'm thinking okay well this isn't bad i just don't understand what we're doing because i came in the middle of a game um but I, am, I was curious about it. And I said, well, when this comes out, this might be interesting to do something quick in one of my 3D dungeons that I make. So, are you going to help? Daniel, how are you, my friend? Hope all is well. I know you've had a tough year. And speaking of... Gen Con, we had a chance to do a, an interview with him. If you ever get a chance, head over to Christian Adventure Gamer. You could see that interview. It was actually oh, about a half hour at Gen Con. You could check it out on his site. So, what are we getting here? I don't know. I have no idea. This is the first time I'm opening it. So, I want to make sure that you guys see what you get. Okay, so we're taking a look at Ju Dungeon Fantasy, a role playing game. They were talking, oh, yeah, this will be out. Wow. All right. So we get ourselves a nice big 
paper mat, which laminated would be just fine. And if you wanted to build a dungeon, which, yes, sir. Uh, so, oh, okay. So is it double-sided? That's a good question. This is map two for I smell a rat. Oh, it is a double-sided. It's a double-sided map because on the other side, you've got, you've got rooms. Hmm. Uh, a few nice gun bags. Wow, Neil. Okay, whatever. It's a t-shirt. <laughs> it's a t-shirt. My God, people take things too seriously. It's a t-shirt. You think I shot them or something? No, let me tell you something. I, I understand perfectly what he's saying because... Honestly, you're very passionate about your team, and that's okay. See, I am just a, I'm, I'm just in a happy mood today. Look at this. This is pretty intense here. Yeah, it has been a rough year. I got to see my mom's headstone last weekend, and I wept. I'm sorry for that, my friend. I hope all gets well. You've been in my thoughts, that's for sure. Along with everybody else that's had a tough year. It has been a tough year for a lot of us. Look at this. This is pretty nice, huh? And on the other side, we've got a whole bunch of things that are going on. So it looks like we have some replayability here. You know what the best part about this game is? That's right. You're looking at it. Don't got to paint nothing. <laughs> no, I really don't mind painting. But, you know, sometimes having these... Um, what do you call them? Chits? Stop hitting me with the tail. Um, having these standees. Are, it's actually not nice if the game is thematic enough. Looks like we got something here. Spiders, elves, dwarves, a barbarian. Really, really, the art's not that bad on it. It actually shows their back on the other side. Okay, so that must play into it. Dave Birch, how are you, my brother? Good to see you, Mark. Always good to see you. Um, bigger spider. Okay. All right, let's see if the. Hopefully, there's some more standees in here. Wow. Okay, this has learning curve all over it. But, hey, that's what we're here for, right? So we have exploits. All right. We have adventurers. Wow, this is, they give you quite a bit in here. That's why I picked the thing up. I went, you got to be kidding me. Spells. So it looks like this whole thing carries everything that you could possibly want. Thanks for handling that, Leland, by the way. We don't allow swearing here. Only I can swear. All right, so all the monsters are here. They have a monster book. Um, here's the dungeon. I smell a rat. So this is a whole... Oh, so the, it's all broken down into... All right, okay. So this is just a beginning adventure. We have dice. We have, okay, these are the stands, but this has got, oh, see, I have my curiosity. I'm like, what the heck is, okay, that's just a lot of fluff cardboard. Sheesh, I mean, you get enough in the thing. You don't have to fluff it up and make me think there's even more in there. Some more stuff for me to throw out. All right, so you get quite a bit here. That's a good start to it. So I'm sure they're going to release more stuff and more standees. And you can develop things as you go. Very nice. I like this. Like I said, it, it caught my interest. And when it came out, I was kind of, okay, let's give this a whirl. Why not? All right, let's push that over there. Oh. 
Oh, Bella, what are you barking at? Uh, let's see. Uh, David, some time ago I asked Rob whether to buy Myth from a friend. Ended up buying it based on Rob's advice. Thanks, Rob. Love the game, and I am having a ball painting the minis. See? If you get those second edition rules, everything works out. Uh, what else do we got here? Okay. I don't know anything about this. Nothing. I saw it come out, and it had my curiosity. Um, so, again... Boy, we're piling up trash over here, but that's okay. Uh, Legacy of Dragonholt. So, I'm going to read it to you. You guys want to take a look inside. If we can keep all the components with one game per game together. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop this on your tail, and then you're going to have an issue. Ah, ha, ha, Misfit caught it. Yeah, you left the dice out, Rob. We've been playing Folklore The Affliction lately. It's really nice mix of RPG and minis. Really, David, because I have it. I have yet to, to, to mess around with it. It's somewhere in this sea of everything. Jeez, man, I got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff I got to paint, too. Uh, Arsenal. There you go. But you don't you don't hear me going. Oh, you're dirty. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Dragonhold lies just past the caves of spirit haunted, uh, even tide forest, surrounded by ancient orchards and quiet farms. Much of the, of Teroth is perilous. This village is a comparative haven of tranquility, or it used to be. Danger has come to Dragonhold. Bandits and monsters gather in the forest, and mist a mystical debt comes due. Uh -oh. Legacy of Dragonhole is a cooperative narrative adventure for one to six players. One. You see, solo games are cool. Uh, with all the miniature games you have, you may not have to use the standards and could use miniatures for dungeon fantasy. Yeah, true. Yeah, I'm looking forward to f uh, folklore because I started uh, investigating it a little bit. I knew I had it. I, I you know, it's one of the billion games I bought at uh, at a uh, Gen Con. It's just I haven't gotten my way around to it. Yeah, my only problem is wanting to fix the minis and paint them. Lots of gaps that need to be filled. Yeah, true, David. Um, it's not perfect, but you can work it in there. That's for sure. King Fat, how are you? I like solo games too. I, th there's just times that Janice gets busy, and and you know I want to just come out here and just play something. Like um, I'm going to be doing old school tactical, so that's going to be nice. I'm going to be doing that solo. I'm going to. Th there's a lot of different things I want to do solo. Okay, so let's find out what happens here. You will travel to the village of Dragonholt. Meet an old friend. Embark on adventures. Save the day or not. As you make choices and test your skills, Dragonholt lives and changes around you. The tale will take many unexpected twists and turns due to your decisions and achievements. No two stories will be the same. Will you save the young lord or let him perish? Defeat the dragon or watch the village burn? Hmm, that's a hard question. If you're a Godzilla fan, you want the, the the village to burn. We were watching Godzilla movies yesterday. We had a pretty good time. Yeah, that and getting rid of mold lines kills me every time or kills my fingers at the at least. I agree with you there, my friend. Adventure awaits, so gather your friends and create your characters. Dive into a rich world of runebound universe. Are you ready to tell your own story? Now, you see... There's a couple things that that fascinate me about this because the Runebound universe has I've never I never felt there was deep enough story for it, but this looks like they have a ton of story here because there's a ton of books that come in this thing. So let's take a look at it. Ugh. and then you guys can decide whether or not this is something for you. 
Because, let's, let's be honest, I don't have all the answers. Into the plastic, into the plastic bin in my pocket that I have to throw out the minute I get in there. Ah, all right, it says read this first. Okay, so we have some runes. We have a bunch of cards, like well, this one here. When you drink this potion, you recover half your maximum stamina. Really nice artwork on it. Okay. We'll read this first. Ugh. And then I'll show you what comes in the box. Introduction. Ah. Uh, object of the game is a cooperative game that is, if you are playing with more than one player, all of you are on the same team. However, unlike other games, the legacy of Dragonhold is not about winning or losing. The legacy of Dragonhold is a game about storytelling. As you play, your decisions weave a narrative tapestry that tells the story of your adventure in the village of Dragonhold. Alright, so you get a lot of cool things in here. Alright. I don't want to read it all. So, I always like these kind of games. Okay, so you have a character creation book. You get... Ooh, you get a bunch of them. Uh, yeah, really enjoy the campaign stuff for games. Yes, me too. I love campaigns. Um, you get these character sheets. Really nice. Very well done. What was that? Uh, to the new roads approximate play time 50 to 80 minutes then you have this seal folder which we're not going to look into the village whoa now that's a book and a half dragon Holt village approximate play time 30 to 50 minutes per chapter so there's a how many chapters are in here Hold on, folks. I'll let you know. Oh, it looks like there's a lot going on here. Day. Okay, so it has a tracking sheet that you can make, make a copy of that time. Day one, day two, day three, all the way to day seven. Progress, heroism, academy study. Oh, good. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on here. Here's a map of the of the of the city. Right, let's take a look at it. Why not? Did we lose any frames? No, we're in good shape. All right, so it shows you the entire village. It's pretty extensive here. And all the buildings match up with the stuff that's in here. Okay, I got you now. Ah, a journal that is going to come into play at some point. Silver of the Silver. That looks interesting. The Crypts of Carthuth. Whispering Leaves, Terror on the Prairies, that's the dragon that's going to burn down the whole place, and Paper Faces. Wow. You get This one's 75 minutes to 120 minutes. You know who would like this? Yep, yeah, you got it. Miss Janice. You know what a sucker she is for stuff like this. All right, well, this is, this is a neat little find. This is something... I didn't see coming. Okay, and I, you know, I tried to cover as much as I could at JanCon, but you know, to be honest with you, how much can you really cover, right? Neutral, how are you? Uh, Neil was timed out by Leland for 300 seconds. Is he still going on? Wow, neutral. Somebody's really trying to take your job, son. Come on now. Neil needs to go somewhere else to talk to himself. If I was a mod, ban hammer time. Uh, yeah, Le Leland, if he keeps going, whatever. Like, I, honestly, I'm not even worried about the guy. Let him just spew if he wants. Who cares? So, Legacy of Dragonhold really looks really interesting. I think this has some fantastic potential, of course. Uh, where are we at? Okay. And you're just going to wag your tail the entire time. 
Okay, so uh, what else did we get here? No, we got a bunch of things. That's for doggone sure. The Dutch East Indies. Now this definitely caught my eye because of well, you know, I, I just love trading and, and, and shipping games, especially pirate type games. It is the 18th century in the East Indies. You are in charge of two ships and you have a clear mission. Find valuable spices and bring them back home before any other country does and watch out for pirates. Upgrade your ship and trade or steal the desire spices to win the game. So this is another one that's one to four players. So you can play this by yourself. So this kind of really has has some really cool stuff. You get a D8. Okay, you want to take a look at it, guys? Nah, why not? What? Really? Because I did that? Or are you just talking? Dumb cat. Well, maybe if you stop putting your back in, where I get, you know, where it's going to get all chewed up, young lady. All right, let's take a look and see what we got in here. I don't know if we should call this new new game day or unboxing day. Is unboxing day coming up soon? Uh, greetings from Tijuana, Mexico. How are you, my friend? Don't use it. ships called the valley. It will sink near Australia. Yes. <laughs> all right. So what do we get here? First of all, we get hit with a tail. Uh, another one of those big. Wow. There's a lot going on in here. There's a lot going on in here. That's a lot of manual. That's for sure. Okay, let's just put that over here. Oh, you could be Portugal. You could be Holland. England. Should get a bunch of cheers because I know some of our friends from England. Uh, Spain. Okay, there we go. And it looks like you put together some of these pirate ships and stuff like that. Okay, this has my interest. And you actually put ships together. So these ships actually sail. You actually get 3D ships. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. All right, we get some, it looks like commodities, some chips, some dice, a ton of cards, and a pretty big boat. Uh, oh, okay. Nice big board. It seems like it's all sea, so I'm sure there's little islands, those, those cards that are islands you'll lay down at some point on this board. Or this board actually goes out bigger, but I just don't want to kill it here. Uh, here we go. Offer, how are you? Hi, hey, I'm Emo, and I watch your channel when I'm sad. Okay, that's cool. Uh, it's a tentacle, not a tail. Guys, I love your cat. Do you know why the cat raises its tail when you caress it? Because he tells you it's over. Oh, okay. Wow, we got them all coming out there. In the dark and breathe heavily. I also like to do all kinds of things and ba 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 Leland, it's time to lay out the bands, brother. There we go. So, as you can see, there are all kinds of really, really cool things here that go on. All right. It's probably Katie. <laughs> uh, all right. That's the thing that you can't let bother you, is trolls. It seems we have a whole bunch of new ones. We have new trolls for our new troll. All right, let's move this over here so we can create a pile. 
over here so it doesn't pile up over by the camera. What else did we get? Uh, this one, I don't know. Hey guys, I gotta go. I hope you have a great day. Thank you. So, Civilization, the new Civilization. I heard okay things about it. I didn't hear great things about it. It's slimmed down a little bit. Re recreates the best-selling computer game series as a strategy board game. And this fast pace, see, there you go, fast pace. It's a 4X game. What's your email, Rob? Just wanting to say hi, Jonathan. It is NovaPrime860 at Hotmail.com. And let's see. Fast page, approachable adaption. Players guide their nations in a race for territories, technology, and game-changing wonders. Take a turn in, the, in as easy as using a single card. But there's deep strategy in choosing which of the five cards to use. You could deploy caravans to establish diplomatic relationships with your neighbors or crush them with your military might. You could expand the grasp of your culture or research advanced versions of your cards. You could employ your production towards vital new cities or powerful world wonders. With random with a random size uh, objectives and a beautiful map crafted anew each game. No two games are the same. Okay, so this is pretty much a hex game, so let's take a look at it. Hey, Jamstrat, how are you? Ugh. I don't know if we really need to take a look at this as much as, as we need to. I'm really kind of on the fence about this one, but the cities look cool to paint. So I'm just going to show you the back of it. Let's see what you guys think. Because how long are we already in here? 37 minutes? Okay, we're doing pretty good. We don't want this to be a four-hour video. All right, so um, this is something, because it's two-player, two to, you know, you would think it was three to six, but it's two to four. So I'm kind of curious about this one, so. We'll give it a good whirl. See how it does. Next. What do we have here? Like I said, we're just waiting for grandson to get up. Now this one was something that caught my eye. I didn't know anything about it. And that's Richard the Lionheart. In Richard the Lionheart, you are a character sided with either King Richard or his brother John. During the game, you will travel through England to both influence the ongoing crusade in your faction's favor and earn prestige points for yourself. It is imperative that you work alongside the other players. Okay, well, I'll tell you how many players this is. Uh, uh, work alongside the other players align with your faction to ensure your king's ascendance to the throne. The winner is the player who not only collects the most prestige points, but also belongs to the winning faction at the end of Richard's crusade in the Holy Land. Only one player will be victorious. Mm, two to six for this one. Mm, and it's a spaghetti western uh, game, so it does have my curiosity. Ronald, how are you? So it does have my curiosity. Let's take a look. Because there's miniatures in here. Which means when you have miniatures, how many miniatures? 16 miniatures. That's not bad. You can pick and paint 16 miniatures. Alright. Into the basket of plastic. Very cool. Do we still have people losing their minds? Boy, this was, this was a rough day. Alright, so. Kind of thin rule book. Not a bad thing. We have, okay, a card for each person that's in that faction. Interesting. Uh, provisional deck. Okay, so you're going to place your cards here. Well, all the cards will go here. 
We have tokens. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. And, wow, this is a pretty big board. Oh, it looks like there's quite a bit that goes with this. So, there we go. You gonna move your tail? No. So there's this board and then this other board that goes on top and across. <laughs> So, there's a lot of stuff going on here. And the miniatures. These are pretty nice. Will you stop hitting me, you baboon? Okay, so we've got a ton of these cards. And I have no idea what... Well, of course I don't have anything because I haven't read anything about the thing. Contribute to the Crusade. Okay. So there's a lot of cards in this game. But these miniatures really look pretty good. Oh, and they got a little tray to put all the tokens in. And they're actually pretty well detailed. Which catches me off guard. So let's just put one up here. So you guys can get a look. Very good quality. If you are a miniature guy. So these look pretty good. Alright. Let's close that up. Put that in there. Put that in there and there. Alright. There we go. Yeah. Got your tail stuck in there, didn't you? Dummy. Dummy. All right, how are we doing here? We're doing all right? Okay, I never lose my mind, but there are moments my mind is blown. I lost my mind a couple of years ago, nothing new here. <laughs> the components of this game are blowing my mind. <laughs> all right, what else did we get here? All right, well this one, this one I didn't expect to come out, but it came out, and that's Fallout. So I'm really curious on on how this all plays. My daughter saw this, who is a massive Fallout fan. Hold on for a second. Let me just make an adjustment here. Okay, there we go. The little knucklehead is a Fallout fan, and. Uh, Dog meat is her favorite, but that figure is not in here. So, I, d I saw this at Gen Con. I didn't lose my mind over it. I knew she would. So, let's take a look and see what's up here. Because she's already talking about, oh, this is for one to four players. Another solo game. Wow. We're like in solo heaven today Looks like we'll have to be playing some solo games here ah the learn to play manual which eh, how many pages 15 pages yeah okay and then your rules reference guide oh look at this nuka cola you get nuka cola things yes so we get all these tiles and everything like that and you build the wasteland it looks like and then you have boards so very thematic as far as fallout's concerned if you like the video game which mostly everybody does this really really smells kind of doomish just by looking here meaning the components and stuff like that all right we have some strange dice that have um Oh, what the heck's that that kid on there? Something boy for your device. Oh, 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 you can get hurt in your arms, your head, or your legs. Oh, that's interesting. Capital Wastelands, the Brotherhood. 
There we go. Okay, these are scenarios, so it shows you how to set up certain certain tiles. So you set it up by certain stores. I thought it wasn't being released till next year. Me too, but I got it. Uh, my buddy got it. Oh, hold on. You guys are getting ahead of me, and I'm going to have to just go back a little bit. Pit boy there you go. Thank you. Uh, buddy had it pre-ordered, but hasn't gotten his copy yet. As soon as he does, we're playing in it. I saw Fallout being played yesterday at Madrid Games on ex ex exhibition. Also, I got to read the rules, and it looks a it and look at Ri Rising Sun a little. Good stuff, it is. Okay, Dave, cool. Saw a pretty favorable review of Fallout recently. They said fans of the game will probably love it. Cool. Big Bang, how are you? Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, I thought it wasn't being released. Pit Boy, Vats, yep, thank you. Hello, Big Bang, says Leland. So let's take a look at these these miniatures. Of course you gotta paint these up because you don't wanna, have, you know, if you can't have a painting channel and not paint these dudes up. All right, this guy, I mean, very detailed models. Oh, well, there's the girl that Mimi will be. Of course. Uh, it's kind of a mutant dude. These are really, really nice. This guy, though, is the home run. Because he's part of that brotherhood. Very nice. So it'll be fun painting him up. Take about nine minutes. All right, so we'll have to get this prepped up. You'll probably see this this week sometime. A lot of stuff coming out, a lot of stuff that we're going to catch up with this week. We're going to be breaking down a ton of games and talking about them. Like I said, I don't worry about when I come out with my reviews, or not reviews, I call them look at. There's just so many people that explain games and review games. In my opinion, doesn't matter, to be honest with you. I can only give you what I think of a game. I guess that's an opinion, isn't it? I don't know, I just kind of look at it a little differently. I'm not trying to influence anybody, let's put it that way. This is what Rob thinks. Rob doesn't think the same as everybody. But dog meat is like one of her favorites, and she wishes that dog meat was in it. So there you go. Everybody's going, gonna go for the Brotherhood, dude. I, I gotcha. Uh, they said there's like 160 cards to use, and you won't use more than 20 per game. So replayability is good. Oh, that's cool. That's a one to four player game, so that's kind of neat. I like, I like that aspect of it. Let's get that out of the camera. Finally. Yeah, it came in. Necromunda. Yes. The mighty Necromunda is here. Uh, campaign. Okay, what's inside this book first? Let's see. It's a tabletop skirmish war game. Is this supposed to be... So you can do campaign battles. I hope so. Yes. Uh, okay. We've already got a city built out for this. Okay. So gang war in sector mechanicus, which is not too hard. Hmm. Huh. Always the, the games are always so, I mean, the gangs were so colorful because back in the day there. Okay. So this is just kind of a scenario book. And breaks down the games a little bit, it looks like. The gangs. Alright, so you need the Gang Wars uh, gaming supplement. Maybe this kind of gives you a feel for the old Necromunda. But, this is kind of, this box here is the old style box almost. So, let's hope. Uh, I'm really curious on this because I really thought Armageddon... Uh, Shadow War was really going to be 
let one player be the Germans. Hold on, what, what, uh, I want to be, just saw D-Day Dice Kickstart is almost at 200k, which means the stretch goal, yeah. Uh, I saw that too. I'm really happy about that. I'm glad for them because they got a nice product there. Uh, plenty of room for expansions. Maybe they'll issue a dog meat companion pack. Yeah, there you go. Necromunda. I heard of the game. Never played it. Supposed to, supposed to have been a lot of fun back some time ago. Yes, David. Because I remember having the original set. I have it here somewhere, to be honest with you. I wonder if I could just use those miniatures without painting these. Into the pocket of justice. All right, let's go here. Let's see what we have here. This, uh, is this all in the way? Yeah, it is. All right, so Necromunda. What are we getting here? All right. Wow. The old style. The old style templates. You gotta have the old style templates, brah. Bruh. Oh, are you kidding me? I remember these plates. These plates these look like the old plates. What they used to do is have edges on them and you would connect the paper to them. So this is kinda interesting. This well, maybe, 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 maybe. These are so easy. To, okay, so let's let's do this. Let's just lean these here. Okay, so we have a huge oh accessories. Okay, so they're just a lot of walls and stuff, and they're showing you how to put the gangs together here. Okay. Uh, Goliath Gang and the Escher's Gang. They, they should be coming out with more gangs, I think. Wow. Wow, these guys are like in a million pieces. Okay, so tomorrow, I think tomorrow night we'll go live and I will show you how to put this together because you're going to lose your mind on this one. Yep, alright. So I guess we'll do that before we start painting. We'll get the gangs together. And I'll do a put together video. I'm sure it'll get ripped off like everything else. Let's see. Uh, oh boy, there's a lot of little parts here. You can easily lose. If you are somebody that is looking forward to playing this, this game, you can easily lose your mind here. So you're really going to have to follow that guide. And it's small parts and you've got to be very, very concise in your cuts all right just opening this up has told me that i have to do another live video on how to put this together uh drum roll it's a sprue yes wow tons of plastic hope they release re-release mordheim i do too looks like an air fix kit yeah you're telling me sandra by the way how are you sandra Hope you are well. All right, so before we start painting these, we'll do a video, a live video. How about we put it together and I'll show you how long it's gonna take you to put it together. So help you decide whether or not you wanna venture into the world of Necromunda. It's an old favorite to be honest with you. So not a lot there, but You'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's the book. So here's your actions. This has got... Oh, this is a change. Activate fighters. Move. Simple. Fighter makes a standard move. Page 57, of course. Shoot. Basic. Fi the fighter makes an attack with a range weapon. Shooting is covered more in more detail on page 48. Okay. Aim. If the fighter makes a subsequent shoot action in the same turn, add one to the result of their hit rows. Charge, okay. Take cover. Coop the grace. Pick a serious injured enemy fighter within one inch and within the vision of the arc of the fighter, make the action that the fighter immediately goes out of action. 
A fighter makes a charge action who ends the move within one inch of a seriously injured enemy. Okay, so they are using the thing where you can get injured. Okay, well, we need to take a look at this a little further, and I think we will. But let's just see what else is in the box. Ooh, there's some different types of dice in here, which I've never seen. So this is definitely going to be different than your basic Necromunda. We've got six-sided dice. We have almost like a, a type of Blood Bowl dice. Hmm. Now I'm curious. Now you have my curiosity. So we've got a bunch of plates, uh, you know, four floor tiles and stuff like that, and some tokens here. All right, that's fine. The Necromunda measuring stick, which is a 12 inch ruler. Very nice. Tactic cards. Tactic cards. Okay. This is different than everybody. Oh, good. Oh wow, they even give you they give you the nice bases. I like that. Because I like what they did with these guys here when they gave you the jacked up bases. So you can you can paint them and, and give them a little flare. Looks like a new sprue cutter. Oh no, I got a new sprue. Uh I have to find my mind. T Mon. Okay. You find your mind, T Mon. Uh what is T-Mon talking about? This brother is losing it half the times. Uh, okay. Hi, Leland, he said. All right. Let me just make sure that we talk to everybody. Yes, we have. Mats Schultz. What's up, bro? So they have these really nice bases. And, it, you know, so you have that metallic feel it's just not the plain old basis all right night nice. it's a pretty nice set all right when in doubt use your teeth all right let's just take a look in here real quick and find what the heck is going on with this because you got me right now oh into the bag the bag of of plastic all right so okay so we have two cheat sheets okay strength versus toughness that's normal strength versus toughness is the strength twice the toughness or greater uh, plus two is the strength greater than the toughness is the strength equal plus six plus <coughs> six plus okay Engage fighters to uh, declare the shot, check the range, make the roll, the hit roll. Target is pinned. Resolve damage. Shooting modifiers. In partial cover, minus one. In full cover, minus two. Accuracy modifier. Engage prone. There's a minus one, long range only. Out of action. Okay, do they have an injury chart? All right, so there's a bunch of different scenarios. It looks like they give you four scenarios. So there must be more in that book. Oh, no, six scenarios. Excuse me. All right, let's see here. Preparing for battles. Okay, large doorways. All right, so we're back to movement five. We have weapon skill, ballistic skill, strength, toughness, wounds attacks initiative leadership uh will intelligence cl i forgot what that one is spud kitty how are you oh okay so it's just breaking down the gangs here uh the goliath gang oh so there's going to be Every time they come out with a new gang, there's going to be stuff that comes with them. Gas, grenades. Okay, that's like the old one. Everything works off of the different types of power swords and weapons. 
looks familiar without me getting too detailed into it. Uh, I don't see a wound chart. Advanced rules. Okay. Introductory uh, scenario. Turf War. So we've got a couple of games, workshop games we have to get done. We have to finish up with uh, Shade Spire, which I plan on doing the next day or two, and then getting this up and running and get this played. Fortunately, Janice finally is got a big break for the next two weeks. So pretty excited about that. Close combat, shooting, action phase, basic rules. All right, they break this down very nicely. General principles, miniature and fighter cards. You see, you used to be able to up the skills of everybody, and that's what I'm hoping that they did. Huh, okay, deep backstory. The House of Cawdor, which was always cool. The Houses of Necromunda. The Hives. Yeah, because even the gene stealers got involved at some point. Or the cultist. Now that's cool. Alright, so you get... Oh, so this box is actually part of the terrain. Okay. Okay. Melt a frag, gas traps... All right, so where is where you level up, though? Oh, they took that all out, it looks like. Unless it's in that book. All right, let's take, take a quick peek. Let's take a quick peek. Again, I'm just trying to give you guys a good idea of what the heck is going on here. You know, because, you know, when you say Necromunda... You've got to be talking Necromunda. Now listen, it's been 28 years, 20, 20 something years. See, they even show you, make sure you have good cutting tools and plenty of glue. Uh, does Games Workshop make any miniature games that can be played solo? No. Cthulhu Kitty and my boys are having a conversation with each other. Are you talking, Cthulhu? Not a girl. All right, let's just put this down here. Yeah, Necromunda is going to be featured this week. Along with about 27 other things. All right, let's see. Ah, here we go. Uh, all right, five credits for a laser gun. Okay, so you can build your guy a certain way. Credits are basically experience points. Uh, skills. It's in here. All right. So you're going to roll. Once you hit a level. Hold on. There's different types of gear. All right. Campaign reference. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, they didn't take it out. They just made it off into an offshoot so you can do bigger games and stuff like that. But how... I'm really going to have to read. Oh, there goes the dog. Losing her mind. All right, terrain because the obstacles, height, distance, fall modifiers, campaign. What is a campaign? How running a campaign works. We used to have this thing. It was like it, it was almost four feet tall for this game. Uh, gangs and campaign. Okay, that's what this is for because you every time you kill, you get XP. So you're gonna have your gang name. You're gonna you're gonna have to make copies of this, and then what you're going to do is you, your gang has a rating as they progress so what will happen is the other gang if you're fighting a gang that is uh, underneath you a certain amount they'll get special bonuses 
or let's their reputation uh, will be different uh, gaining experience okay here's how you get experience oh wait a minute improve the fighters willpower a fighter gains one experience if their action causes an enemy fighter to go out of action this could be an attack coup de grace or anything else as long as the enemy is taken out during the action itself for example setting a blood a booby trap which later takes an enemy out of action would not count if an action causes multiple enemies to be taken out of action for example a fighter throws a frag grenade and takes out two enemies they gain experience for each okay so as you gain these points you can spend them fighter gains a random skill from any from any set skill so not only do you have to pay the cost of the experience but you have to have the credits to spend as well hmm all right we're gonna have to really take a look at this this may not be that bad i'm kind of curious i'm very curious about this this is an old favorite i have shadow war armageddon is necromunda different than that yes neutral can you translate kitty sign language i'm curious okay there are several games workshop games you can play solo on the computer like sp uh, okay no he, i think he was talking box game okay we're gonna skip that uh watch cthulhu kitty's tail Mo more it twitches the more anxiety if her ears are back too as well as things are about to getting an interesting you wouldn't bite anybody because you're just such such a nice cat yeah all right so that's everything that we got this week yes a ton of stuff we've got more coming next week believe it or not a ton more but i'm just catching up with the stuff that we got this week we're going to break this down we're going to take a look at this we're going to uh, tomorrow we're going to be going live and putting together necromunda because we want to get that together then i'll get it primed up and we'll probably start painting it on wednesday i'd like to think and then we'll see about uh maybe getting a a a a, a, a beginner game going so we'll see um we'll see how that works out we'll also make sure that we get in our shade spire Ugh got to get that out shade spire in so we have a lot a lot of things going on carrie how are you um so just a lot of cool things hope this helps hope this helps you in your decision on what you want to buy we've already put an hour in this video and i'm sure nobody's going to want to sit through an hour long video of me opening up games and explaining a few things so if you could change the title a little bit uh leland new game day and unboxings that would be great if you could do that and we've got a ton of stuff that's really going to be interesting over the next couple of weeks a lot of solo player games that i'm actually going to try to play some solo stuff uh, depending on everybody's availability but we are definitely going to be getting going here after watching you guys i decided to get zoo ball for my teenage daughters for christmas thank you oh you're welcome joe thank you for watching i appreciate it definitely look forward to that rob thanks man you're welcome david uh huzzah everyone graham fantastic my brother how you doing all right so i'm gonna cut this cut this off we'll close off with some thoughts um we're going to be getting a lot of things done this week. It's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of live things to look forward to. A lot of tape stuff that you'll see. So, and also just know that we are going to be doing a lot of giveaways in the next two weeks. I'm talking close to to $1,500 to $2,000, maybe even more of stuff. A ridiculous amount of giveaways for the Christmas holiday to help you guys Maybe put something extra under a Christmas tree for your loved ones or for yourself. But either way, it's our way of giving back to you guys. But you have to be a subscriber. And that's the most important thing. Uh, we give back to our own. And that is for sure. And we help other people too. But that's just us. That's what we do here at the Rob Orange Channel. The face that runs the place. Actually, it's I should change the name of this channel to Cthulhu Kitty. Because she's the face that runs the place, aren't you? 
Hmm. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And until next time, it's your old pal Rob. And I will see you soon tomorrow. Vlog and a whole bunch of other stuff. Keep your eyes open for it. Take it easy, everybody.